Welcome to our Living Dream Ceremony. The students at St. Joseph's School that made the first Holy Communion last weekend at Christ the King Parish. There were 43 of us here. First Holy Communion is one of the seven sacraments of the Catholic Church. Holy Communion is the sacrament which binds us together as God's family. Yep. We prepare for the sacrament of First Holy Communion for several months with our families and with the parish. This year we work through the lessons online. In order for someone to receive the sacrament of First Holy Communion, they need to have received the sacrament of baptism and reconciliation. First Holy Communion is when a person receives the body and blood of Jesus for the very first time. This is considered a very holy and significant time for the person's life. The symbols of the Eucharist are bread and wine. Bread and wine symbolize the Creator who gives us life, the one who nourishes us. We were white on this day. At the Last Supper, Jesus gave himself in the form of bread and wine to his disciples. The praise reenacts us each time at Mass. Today we will be watching a video reflecting on our day. When I first arrived at the church, I felt quite nervous until I saw my friend. My family and I took a few photos together. Then me and my friends walked down the aisles and took our seats. We had to sit in our bubbles, which made me a little bit worried because I couldn't sit with my friends. But then a nice lady I read started talking to me, which made my butterflies go away. Finally, Father Edwin spoke and introduced himself. A wee while later, after prayers and hymns, it was time for the body and blood of Christ. I went up first because I'm celiac, so I have to have the blood of Christ. It was really only squeeze grapes. Once I had the blood of Christ, I felt closer to God. On my Holy Communion, it wasn't a sunny day, which didn't bother me. But then I felt safe in the hands of the church. Then me, my mum, my dad and my brother Ollie nervously approached the church. Well, they were nervous. And before, and before we approached the church, um, before we went to a cafe with my family, my whole family. I was nervous, but as soon as I sat down in my seat with my bubble and Irene came to talk to me as well, I felt better. I felt better. Mass started. Father Edwin said a few prayers and we sang some hymns. After a while, it was time. And as soon as it was my turn, I walked up wondering what it tastes like. I was so excited and nervous at the same time with all my friends beside me and behind me. Then, I, cut, I was cupping my hands and then Father gave me the body of Christ. I took it and immediately felt a lot closer to God. As we walked into the church, we felt really nervous. After that, we went in the room and got a photo too. We got into a separate pews and sat down with our family. We started to shake as we looked up at the altar. Ten minutes later, the mass started and we sang lots of songs. Then it came to the time when we had to go up and have the body of Christ. After we took the body of Christ, we sang three more songs and then it was all over. And we saw all the children having Holy Communion at Father Edwin. We heard the priest and sang songs. There were people greeting us. We said our prayers and we answered the priest's questions and we said the right answers of receiving Jesus. We felt excited, joyful and happy. We wondered what it felt like to receive Jesus for the first time. We felt grown up when we had the bread. It was a special day for me because I was given an offer to receive Jesus' body. It was a special day for me because I received the body of Christ for the first time. We saw Father Edwin celebrating the Mass. I also heard Father Edwin asking us questions about Advent. I felt the body of Christ in my mouth
outside of my house, but um St. Paul wrote this story to tell all the people of what happened on the Last Supper. This is what happened on the Last Supper. On the night before he died, Lord Jesus took the bread and said a prayer over it. He said, this is my body, and he broke the bread and shared it with the apostles. In the same way, he took the cup filled with wine and said, this cup is a new kind of ink for my blood. And he passed around the cup and told them to drink from it. He said to them, do this in memory of me, the word of the Lord. The response to these prayers is we will hear our prayer. We pray for ourselves as we celebrate our first Holy Communion. May we always try to live like Jesus and grow more like him each day of our lives. We pray for all children everywhere who are suffering in any way. May God bless them and keep them safe. May we pray for the old, sick and lonely. May we be more careful. We pray for the earth. May we always look after it and care for it. We pray for our family, teachers, and priests at the North Parish, and all those who help us. We pray for our students at St. Joseph's School. May we show our faith in action and the deeds we do for one another. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. At first I felt nervous, but when I got the friend, I felt closer to God. I felt very nervous, but when I got the bread, I felt like kind of confident. I was really nervous. When I made my first Holy Communion, I felt excited and joyful. I felt nervous and I felt close to God. I made my first Holy Communion. I felt grateful, joyful and excited to receive Jesus for the first time. I felt good because I had received Jesus for the first time. Making my first Holy Communion made me feel joyful because now I know that I am closer to Jesus. It made me feel proud and grateful to receive Jesus for the first time. I felt um, happy and nervous and I felt blessed when I received the um, Holy Communion. I felt nervous at start, but once I received it, I felt like a better person. I felt happy and a lot closer to God when I received my Holy Communion. I felt blessed when I did my first Holy Communion. I felt excited about my Holy Communion because it was my first time and my first Holy Communion. I felt nervous and excited because I know it was my first Holy Communion and it was special. I felt excited to receive the body of Christ. I felt nervous receiving my communion but then I felt close to God. I felt closer to God when I received my first Holy Communion. I felt proud once I received the body of Jesus. I felt blessed when I received the body of Christ. I felt nervous and excited when I received my Holy Communion. At the start of the Eucharist, I felt nervous to do my first Holy Communion, but after I've done my, the Eucharist, I felt grateful to accept it. I felt nervous at the start, but at the end, I felt the body in Christ fall into my hands. With my dress and high heels, I felt really nervous. I felt nervous before I had the Holy Communion body of Christ, but when after I was done, I felt great after receiving Holy Communion. I was happy to receive God. I was happy and nervous, and I loved dressing up. I worked hard to prepare for my first Holy Communion. I was happy and I was nervous at the same time. I am happy that I am now in God's family. We will, we will finish with a slideshow of photos from the day. We wish you could, could have all been there.
sing together to Father in heaven. Father in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is. See you.